Hey everyone, this is Keisha with Beyond, and here is Beyond Pro 101. So we've been hard at work over the last few months, um, pushing out a lot of more business intelligence focused features um, and really harnessing the power of data to drive your revenue management strategy. Uh, so we did that in a few different ways. We have three core features we're gonna go through, comp sets, uh, search data and market insights and how those all play together, um, as well as search power and pricing. So one of the core pillars of Pro is comp sets. Um, you may be familiar with comp sets, but essentially what it is, is the ability to compare your listing against your competition. So we have some high level KPIs here. It gives you an idea of what is the average price that you have over the next 30 to 90 days compared to your competition? What is your occupancy looking like, your base price and the health score compared to everybody else? You also have the ability to tailor that here. So let's say you only wanted to focus on, you know, bedrooms that only listings that only have at least four stars. You can go ahead and update that here and then filter to your little heart's content. So let's say you wanted to focus on some more healthy listings. I have a few here that are performing relatively well. So I can go ahead and add those to my set. And what's nice now is that moving forward, if I ever wanted to compare to see how is my cottage picturesque spacious listing doing compared to the competition, I can do that from the comp set view. So let's say we're looking here. This is my full list of all the sets I've created. The one that we just made has six listings saved. It's giving me an idea of what does my pricing look like over the next 30 to 90 days compared to those listings. As you can see, my base price is much higher than listings I've saved, which may be expected, may not be. So that's where we kind of look at the other data. We can look at what does occupancy look like. So I'm still being occupied pretty high. So either I have more amenities than those in the market, or maybe just the other listings aren't performing as well. And then also what my base price is. So this is a great way um, to look at signals. This is not necessarily meant for you to copy strategy, but is a great way to get, understand, is my activity the way I expect it to? Is my base price the way I expect it to? Am I in line with other what other clients in the market are looking at, as well as a health score? So how that plays with everything else. So let's say, okay, here's my listing in San Francisco. I, my occupancy feels kind of high compared to everybody else. Is there any reason for that? So that's where guest search data comes in. So search data is kind of revolutionary. It's very new in this industry. And what we're really looking for this is to be more proactive versus reactive. So the way that search data works is we have a widget that you install on your booking website. It's just a small little script, very similar to like a Google Analytics. Um, but the beauty with this is it all lives in within your revenue management platform. And this also drives search power pricing, which I'll get into in a bit as well. So we talked about San Francisco, you know, I'm like, hey, I'm getting a, a lot of occupancy. Why is that? So let's say you wanted to tailor to see how you were doing last month. Is there anything driving this occupancy? You know, what should I be expecting in the next, you know, 30, 90 days? You can tailor that here. And then it gives you an idea of where your conversion is. Where is that traffic coming from? So, hey, we have a lot of traffic coming from the U.S. right now. Why is that? And then you can also tailor to only look at that data as it relates to that area. So here's letting me know that, hey, I'm getting a lot of traction from the Texas area. So let's say you wanted to, hey, maybe you increase marketing there and really understand like what, you know, I'm having a lot of influx coming from that area. You can also have an understanding of like, what days a week are these people looking for? So if I filter either by check-in or by amenities, let's say I want to look at by check-in date. We have a heat map calendar here. It looks like the end of May, which is Memorial Day, makes a lot of sense, was super busy. And as you can see here, most people were looking 54 searches were for three, three day stay lengths. So let's say your occupancy is very high. You may have a stay length for like two days. So maybe this is an opportunity for you to increase your min stays, get more bookings with less work and still um, get your occupancy more in line with what the market's doing. So let's say you're not getting a lot of bookings. Hey, June and July are usually a lot busier than what I'm seeing. OK, I see that most people are actually searching for two day stays. So now at this point, if you have a min stay of three days, maybe this is an opportunity for you to trim it down to two days and really get a lot more bookings to really match what the market activity is looking like. But let's say you're still not sure. Hey, I don't, I don't really know if I want to action this. Well, that's where Market Insights comes in. So Market Insights is meant to be a generic dashboard to give you an idea what the market is doing and what it's done before. Um, what's nice about this is that you have unlimited access to markets. We don't charge by market. You can access as many as you want. So let's say you wanted to look at San Francisco. What is San Francisco doing year to date? 
Okay, well, looks like their occupancy from partners about 51%. That's still a bit lower than where I'm at. Um, you know, my average daily is 179. So maybe there's an opportunity here for me to adjust my rates or to come up higher when it comes to my requirements. I know I can see here that on average from connected partners, booking lead times about 14 days out. That may be expected, may not, but also a great way for you to understand, you know, how uh, how soon do I need to be marketing, especially so in Texas, you know, you're getting a lot of influx. Okay, people for the summer are usually booking about 14 days out. They're coming a lot from Texas. Great. I should start focusing on efforts within 30 days of that Texas market for San Francisco. Oh, uh, length of stay. Hey, on average, they booked at three days and last year was three days as well. Perfect. I know that my men's stay requirements are really in line with what the market does. Hey, averaging, they're getting about 100 bookings a week in this market. Is that, is, am, I, am I as busy? Am I getting as many bookings as I am expecting? Or is there a drop from last year? But it looks like we're pacing ahead. So perfect. There's a lot of healthy activity happening in this part, market that's even trending ahead to where they were last year. But let's say you're still not convinced. You're like, hey, I'm, I'm just not sure. You know, I see the data, but I'm doing pretty well. So I'm not going to tailor anything. Perfect. We have what we call search power pricing which is meant to be kind of an automated way of you being proactive when it comes to that demand. So we have this installed on your website. We can now see all that traffic that's coming in. Hey, we detected that there was a huge increase in July for one of these bookings. So what's great with search power pricing now is that what happens is once you have that installed and we're seeing that demand, well, now we can use that to power your pricing. So let's say we see a huge influx of people coming in um, and they're really interested in coming down, uh, you know, in July and you're just seeing a huge influx for that. So what happens is that we can find here, as you can see, August 2nd, we saw a lot of demand for the first week of August. So this actually increased the price by $35, as you can see in this last row where it says search demand and automatically updated that pricing for you without you having to be on top of that and also without it being reactive. So we're not looking at historical trends. At this point now, we can use predictive analytics to really drive your pricing, and it's hands off to the sense where you like, you don't have to be on top of it or as granular as you need to be. The beauty with Pro is that it's really giving you all types of data. You can look at your comp sets. How is that benchmarking against? You can go into your market insights to really see, hey, is that market performing the way I expect it to? What's Los Angeles doing right now? You know, are they just as busy as San Francisco? So really giving the ability for users to kind of get as much data as you need, do with that what you must. And then the search data is there for you to be more proactive and predict what's coming in demand and be prepared for it versus being reactive. So we're super excited about this. I think this is really going to change the game when it comes to revenue management and using data to be proactive. Um, make data-driven decisions, um, and really give you the power in regards to what it looks like when it comes to your strategy. Um, so eager to hear your feedback, and happy analyzing.